Hello, my little Willy. In today's tutorial, we are going to learn how to knit a second version of the mock English grip. We learned the first one some months ago, and this one, um, it's a little bit different because the columns of these doesn't look twisted. It's identical on both sides. It doesn't curl, so you can knit a a lot of projects with it, don't need to add an edge, and it's pretty easy even for absolute beginners, just a combination of knits and pearls. So I hope you like it, grab your needles, a little bit of yarn, and let's get started. First of all, we need to cast on multiples of four, let's say four times four, sixteen, plus one, 17, plus two salvage stitches, 19 in total. That's, that's just an example. Okay, first row, we're going to knit the first, which is an edge stitch, the first and the last will be knitted on each row, and now comes the repeat, what you will find between asterisks on the written instructions. Remember, you can find this pattern on my website, sewwoolly.net. There is a link for you below this video on the description box. Okay, the repeat is net two, one, two, four, one, net one. This is it. Let's do it again. Net two, one, two. Pour one, net one, and repeat, net two, one, two, pour one, net one. If you have more stitches, keep repeating until there are only two stitches left. Ending with net one and net the last one, the selvage stitch, but only on this first row. I like to work it through the back loop. So knit the last one through the back loop, and this way we can avoid a huge loop there. Second and every even row. Knit one, the salvage stitch, pour one, and now comes the repeat. Knit three, one, two, three, pour one. And repeat, knit three, one, two, three, four, one. Again, knit three, one, two, Three, four, one. If you have more stitches, keep repeating until there is only one stitch left, ending with knit one, the edge stitch. And this is it. 
It's a two row repeat pattern. Just repeat these two rows until the desired length is reached. When finished, you can bind off facing the right side of the work or the wrong side of the work, it doesn't matter. Just work each stitch as it presents. When you see the Vs, you knit. When you see the bump, you pull and pass over. If you don't know how to do it, I have a video explaining how to bind off working each stitch as it presents and you will find it below this one on the description box as well. And that's everything for today. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and happy knitting!